School budgets determine how tens of millions of dollars of tax money is spent. Voting is next week. Tonight, 7 News reporter Zach Grady goes hunting to see where you can learn about your district's budget. Tuesday, May 16th is voting day for school budgets. What people are voting on will vary from district to district, as is how to find information on your school's spending plan. There's a mailing that goes out from all uh, of the district offices within each school district to the residents of that district. Those mailers break down the budget, include information on projects and propositions up for vote, like buying new buses or fixing the library. Also, details on school board candidates can be included. Some of those are very long and detailed pamphlets, and some of them are more brief, but they all contain the basic information. In some cases, exceed that with even more information. Another method for voters to get up to date on their budgets, your school's website. Many, like Lafargeville Central School District's homepage, provides an electronic copy of the budget and answers to frequently asked questions. These documents online are, as you mentioned, completely transparent and thorough. I think a lot of districts do exactly the same things or very similar things. You know, I think community members need to know that they can go to their school district's website and find this information about their school district and be an educated voter when it comes time in May. Along with voting on the approval of its yearly budget, certain school districts, like the Watertown City School District, will also be voting on the individuals who make up its school board. Voting is on Tuesday, May 16th. The time the polls are open varies from district to district. Zach Grady, 7 News.